Okay, here we go, and we're live. Hello, everyone. I'll wait for this to, there we go. My name is Cecile, and I'm the Comfort and Care Counselor here at Amanda Hope Rainbow Angels. Amanda Hope is a nonprofit organization that provides comfort and care support in the form of free therapy, as well as financial assistance for children and their families who are going through cancer and other long-term illnesses. To learn more about our organization, please go to amandahope.org and you can learn more. If you know someone who is whose child is going through cancer, who could use extra support, let them know that they can also receive free counseling from us via telehealth during COVID. As we wait for everyone else to come online, I'm gonna talk a little bit about our book that we're reading today called the color monster. Now this is a book about feelings and it's a pop-up book. So pay extra close attention to the details and the colors and the different uh, adjectives that are used to describe the colors and the feelings. Wait for a few more people to hop on and then we'll get started. So today's book is called The Color Monster, a pop-up book of feelings by Anna Lewis. This is my friend, the color monster. Today, he's feeling all mixed up. He doesn't understand why. Look at you, color monster. You're a mess. <sighs> You've jumbled up all your emotions and all your colors too. I know. You can separate your feelings and put each one in its own jar. And if you'd like, I can help you. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you're happy, you laugh, jump, dance, and play. You want to share that feeling with everyone. <sighs> this is sadness. It's gentle and blue like a rainy day. And when you're sad, you might want to cry or be alone. This is anger. It blazes bright red. And when you're angry, you want to stomp and roar and shout, it's not fair. This is fear. It hides in the black shadows. And when you're afraid, you feel tiny and helpless. Fear makes it hard to be brave. This is calm. It's as light as a green leaf floating in the wind. When you're calm, you breathe slowly and deeply and you feel at peace. All your feelings are in their places now, see? They're easier to understand when they're not all mixed together. Do you remember what blue was? Sadness. What was anger? Red. And fear, black. And calm was green. And last but not least, happiness was yellow. But wait, there's one feeling left. What could it be? What do you think we should call this feeling? I'll call it love. The end. When we label our feelings and we give attributes and adjectives to our feelings, it makes it so much easier to understand. When we talk about them and we make our feelings feel more real, we're able to understand what we're feeling inside. I thought it would be good today, instead of just a discussion, to do an activity. Now this has to do with something that I am sure we all have at home, and this can be done either with Play-Doh that we have, or we can make our own, make using flour and water and salt. 
If you go online and look up salt dough, you can find an easy recipe if you don't have Play-Doh at home. Now, what's important to know about clay is that the simple act of playing with Play-Doh, squishing and rolling, can be enjoyable for children and adults. This can help you relax, focus your attention, and help to relieve stress. By having Play-Doh or any other fidget toys can make it easier for children to talk about their feelings. For children who are anxious or unsure about talking, they may be feeling more comfortable with something in their hands when discussing things that are uncomfortable. It can also help children with anger. So when you talk about where anger comes from and you have this energy that comes through, you don't want to just have it come up and not go anywhere. By channeling it into clay, it allows them to have that release so they're no longer bottling it up or ignoring it. The safe way to release anger is to allow the child to pound and smash the Play-Doh. Another option is to allow them to make monsters out of the Play-Doh. So then the child can then smash their monsters. Sometimes what you can also do is you can make a paper target on the wall and then you could take the clay and you can right onto the target. It allows them to take their anger out safely and Play-Doh is non-toxic and does not usually stain. The last way that I think is important to use Play-Doh is through storytelling and metaphor. So Play-Doh allows the child to create their own stories. It's a simple, but fun way to engage and to allow them to tell things in a story. The activity I'm gonna show you today is what we call a feelings caterpillar. So what you can do is you can read a scenario or you can talk about something that's going on. For example, someone laughed at me when I fell down off my bike. And you can instruct your child to choose the color of Play-Doh you can use the feelings that we've talked about in our book to represent that feeling of play. So for example, if we're talking about a scenario where maybe, oh no, I was playing outside and I fell down and my brother saw it and he laughed at me. And I was first happy by playing and I got angry when I fell down. I was sad that I was laughed at, but then when he checked on me to see that I was okay and I was not hurt and he made sure that I felt better, I felt loved and cared for. So then I was able to be calm. You can use each separate ball to represent feelings to explain a story. You can allow them to change up their story and change the different uh, feelings so that way they can better explain their story they're telling. This can be a real story, something that's happening, or it can even be from a show or a book they've read. It allows them to better understand timeline of feelings and how those feelings were being processed. Remember, when it comes to feelings, sometimes it's difficult to explain what feeling happened when. But if we allow feelings to have descriptors, and adjectives, we're able to better understand them and then better use them to describe our own scenarios and our own experiences. Your feelings can be any color. We've chosen these colors because it goes along with our book we're reading. If you find colors that resonate better with you, then by all means, please use them. And if you want to go into a different activity after using our little feelings caterpillar, you can always smush them afterwards. It always feels good to smush some clay between your fingers. If you have any other questions or you'd like to do some more of these activities with us, please send us some ideas or anything that you would like to see. We're gonna to continue to do story time and we're going to continue to add additional activities to our blog. So we'd love to hear from you, and I'd love to get those ideas out there for all of you to use.
We're going to read Colored Monster one more time. And remember, as we're reading it, think about different times that you have felt happy or angry or scared or sad. And make it a conversation. Make your own caterpillar or make your own little monsters to smash and smush. Without further ado, The Color Monster by Anna Lianis. This is my friend, the color monster. And today he's feeling all mixed up, but he doesn't understand why. Look at you, monster, you're a mess. You've mixed up all your emotions and all your colors too. I know, you can separate your feelings and put each one in its own jar. And if you'd like, I can help you. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you're feeling happy, you laugh, jump, dance, and play. You want to share that feeling with everyone. This is sadness. It's gentle and blue like a rainy day. And when you're sad, you might want to cry or be alone. This is anger. When you're angry, you want to stomp and roar and shout, it's not fair. And this is fear. It hides in the black shadows. And when you're afraid, you feel tiny and helpless. Fear makes it hard to be brave. This is calm. It is as light as a green leaf floating in the wind. And when you're calm, you breathe slowly and deeply. You feel at peace. All of your feelings are in their places now, see. They're easy to understand when they're not mixed together. Do we remember what color sadness was? We made it blue. And anger, that was red. We made fear black and calm we made green. Happiness was yellow. But wait, there's one more feeling left over. What could this one be? And we're calling this feeling love. Thank you all for tuning into our story time. I look forward to seeing you all next week. Again, if you have any ideas or things that you would like to see on Storytime, please submit it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you all for joining. I'm sending you all big hugs and butterfly kisses. Bye.